Dr Tapu, the oldest sister of the iconic Rangitoto Island in Auckland's Waitemata Harbour, is being given a new lease of life thanks to the many busy Aucklanders who've made the trip out here to roll up their sleeves and replant native trees on this farmland island. The Motutapu Restoration Trust has a grand vision of restoring the dawn chorus to this place. Let's find out how they're doing it. It's one of the largest islands in the Hauraki Gulf that uh, the Department of Conservation manages on behalf of the, the government and it's within 30 minutes of Auckland. Uh, so it's a wonderful conservation opportunity for the people of Auckland. And do you know how many trees have been planted out on Morotapu since you started? Well over 400,000. The long-term goal is to restore the forest that once existed on Motutapu. Not to the whole island, probably up to a third of the island is the intention at the moment, but that's a 50-year project. The island's 1,500 hectares. We've planted just over 100 hectares. We've so we've got another 400 to go, and we've been going for 15 years, so it's a big project. Motutapu Island is 160 million years old and yet neighbouring Rangitoto, which it's joined to by a bridge, is only 700 years old. Now when Rangitoto exploded 700 years ago, there were Māori people living here on Motutapu and we know this because they found a footprint of a person and their dog in the ash around here. The restoration of the island is uh, probably the, the largest restoration project in the Auckland Conservancy at the moment and we advise on the planting and what, what type of plantings to go on and what species to use. We're the technical support team for the Motutapu Restoration Trust. We're doing a big pest eradication scheme, removing all the rats and the mice. Once all these little ones come off then they're the ones that are eating all the seeds and what have you. So we're going to see a huge increase in bird populations. And I think it's good timing because they're, they've been releasing uh, kakariki on Motuhi recently. And when they start to expand, they'll be coming over here. What's it like coming out here and working with people who've just decided to give up their Sunday and come and roll their sleeves up? Well, it makes me feel very humble, actually. You know, and to see mainly youngsters as well. Yeah, it gives you real hope for the future. Rebecca, do you normally come out here and do planting? Um, not this place, but I have done it in the past in other places around, and around the country and things like that, so it's nice to give something back rather than just looking. You're not from New Zealand, yeah. right? Did you think when you came over here that you would dedicate some time to... Yeah, park? definitely, yeah. That's what I wanted to do on my holiday. I wanted to leave my mark in the country. How many trees do you think you planted? Over 15. Do you think you'll come back here again? Mm. Yeah, in the future. And what would you like to see when you come back in the future? Mm. A massive forest, because it just looks beautiful. I like the nature stuff. Mm. Morotapu has always been a draw card for the people of the Auckland region. First early Māori for settlements and cultivation, then European settlers farmed everything from ostriches to buffalo. Nowadays, people see value in restoring the natural heritage for everyone to enjoy. 